Good morning. So if you'd like to see how I spent £18 on two items that are going to be worth over £200, um, stay watching. Good morning and, and welcome spent to... spent £18 or what you what spent, I spent £18, 18 pounds on, on. Yeah. that could be worth. <laughs> yeah, and when I say could be worth, um, I've looked them up and that's what they've actually sold for previously. So they're worth over £200 previously. But we'll be showing you that a little bit later on. But Of course, you might get more. I might less. get more. It could be a little bit less. Who knows? But it should be, I think about £250 actually is what I'm aiming for. If I get £200 from, that would be great. Yeah. Welcome what to you're saying is, is welcome and... Welcome to Watch New John Resellers. Well, you. it might not be the end. I might oh, not put it because otherwise, it I might just jump to the end. I might put it in the middle. I might spread These it out a bit. Sneaky ways of getting people to, to continue watching. So we went to it's New and John Resellers, by the way. <laughs> and I'm smiling because the puppies over yeah. in the corner, Echoes just stood there like that with her hand on Chester's neck. Oh, yep. Yeah. Puppies are here. Well, puppy is here, and Chester and Bear's here. Um, so anyway, we went to two car, car boot sales this week, yeah? We did. We went uh, to um, a slightly muddy underfoot... Faygate, gate. which was still it, great. It was okay to, to walk on. There was a it lot was just, of people though, it was good. It was very... both of them were yeah. very packed. I think it's kind of that end, end of, of season. season. If, I don't do, if I don't sell it today, I'm stuck with it all winter yeah. falling. And I'm aware that I think ne um, there might be one or two left at Faygate. Um, I'm not sure how many more at Faygate. Well, I think Billy's going to just carry the, on going as, as long as, as he the can. Will allow. However, and uh, the Mega Boots, yeah. which is Poinings and Hicks, did that's now over until um, Spring Equinox. So I think it's 25th of March. He's, right. But he kind Back of on. runs Equinox to Equinox, doesn't he? Yeah. So that's, that's so pretty that's cool. That one but done. both of them were packed and. I certainly got some fab stuff. Um, did you get some fab stuff? I didn't get very much at all. No. Okay. No, so I, I, that's what I was thinking walking around yesterday. It was packed. All but... of this stuff, you know, in this enormous field, and I just didn't want any of it. But that was because you already bought it. Or... Mm. <laughs> Not all of it. Not all of it. So I got a couple of little bits, but nothing. Anyway, well, nothing I'm going to start off with the. I'm going to say the boring stuff. And looking at what Jan's got for a minute, I'm going to. I'm going to go through my jeans. I picked up th over thirty pair. I think it's thirty-four pairs of jeans. I'm going to give you the highlights of some of the brands that I picked up just quickly. Um, so. Um, there was, I mean, I like to pick up uh, uh, Next, M&S, stuff like that. But also picked up, uh, what have we got here? Let's have a quick look. Um, so we've got a pair of Wranglers. Um, what brand's this one? This is a different and one. How um, many jeans have you sold so far? Because you keep so, buying them, So you? far I've sold, I think, about 90 pairs of jeans. And how long have you been doing jeans for? Jeans I've only been doing about three or four months. So I don't think it's even as long as it's four months. I think about so possibly... So you're definitely shifting jeans. Definitely shifting jeans. So this is... I've not heard of this brand. Um, is it? This FB? is FB jeans. And no. this is new with tags. Um, so they're... They're not a bad looking kind of jean. Um, just a blue jean. But it's like I've not heard of that brand. Um, there's some of these that I haven't heard of. What else have we got here? Um, Fire Trap. Fire Trap, I know to be a, a pretty reasonable kind of brand. So we've got some Fire Traps. Um, this one's new with tags. This is um, DJ and C. Again, I've not heard of DJ and C. And it's got lycra in, so it's they're got, slightly stretchy. They're slightly stretchy. Um, oh, yeah, though. Got yeah, them, but they? apparently that the lady who sold me those said they're a really quite good brand. So, mm -hmm. of those. I mean, a lot of these I'm going to have to do research on. I've not heard of this one either. What was that one? Uh, Brandolino. Brandolino. Never heard of. Them. Never heard of Brandolinos, but we'll look them up. Um. But this is all from two boot sales. We then have. I was going to say you're not separating into Saturdays and no, Sundays. No, no, just. I've, I've 
just quickly going I don't through. I don't know what I've got wear anymore. I've not heard of Mavericks, but apparently Mavericks are a reasonable brand. Um, we've then got some some Burton's uh, 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 Burton's Men's. They're going to be pretty reasonable quality. Um, we've then got some Pull and Bear. Obviously, um, I pick up men's and women's jeans. Um, Barbara? Barber. Barber? Aren't they the ones that do the wax jacket? Yeah. I think they're pretty... If that, if that is the way that, it, that Barbara is spelt, then they should be pretty good. They should be pretty good, yeah. So they're, they're good. Um, Can you see what she's chewing? Uh, yeah, she's chewing her blue chew. Okay. And we've got some um, hill figure. Tommy, is that Tommy hill figure? It just says hill so. figure. It says hill fi hill figure jeans, so they should be quite good. And I'm just getting nervous here because he hasn't spilled yeah. his coffee yet. Yeah, but I have already. Time. I have brought the cloth. Why in not today? just lay the cloth out and stand it on the cloth, I and then could. it kind of wipes it up. Uh, as it French spills. Connection jeans. And or absorbs it as it spills. Uh, what was this? The some uh, edge. No, never heard. Edge jeans. Apparently, actually, yeah. again. Sometimes I like to pick up jeans that I've never heard of because it means I've got to do the research on them before I list them, which is really kind of good. But that was just a, a little snapshot of some of the jeans that I've picked up. I say there were 34 pairs of jeans. I don't want to go through all of them, but I thought it might be interesting just to show you some of the brands that I actually pick up um, at the boot sales. What did Alexa say? Uh, there's someone at the door. I think there was a, a, a post. No, there's nothing there. Nobody there. Oh, okay. No idea. Alexa's just off on one. So, anyway, Jan. Oh, well, these I do remember were Saturdays, and these are um, a pair of Royal Albert. Uh, they're fine china. They're not bone china, they're fine china. Fine china. china. But I've got a lovely um, rose, rose pattern. Yeah. yeah. They're roses, aren't they? Yeah, rosy sort of pattern, and. Uh, do you want me to put it closer so that we can... At the bottom. So and this pair as well. And these are what? June. They look exactly the same, like the same brand, aren't they? Uh, yeah, Royal Albert June. Because you've got the green and the yellow. And uh, these were 25p each, so all four for a pound. Nice. I mean, they're not. They're cups. They're but, not bone china, but they're pretty you enough. You say four for a pound. Yeah. Yeah, so four for a pound. I mean, the what? people need mugs. Four or five quid each, maybe. I don't know. I'll probably sell the set for all four for a ten quid. Yeah. Put them up for ten. You know, take an offer on them. Like I say, they're not bone china. They're not. Yeah. Anything that great, but there but should the, be a profit in it. Even if it's just a little one. Cool. Um, I'm just wondering what to show next, really. Um, well, it's here, so I might as well just do. So, one of the items are, um, that I think is going to get me some reasonable money is this. Um, this is a Canon um, EOS 500N. Um, SLR camera. Isn't my SLR a 500? I'm trying to remember now. So uh, you've got a digital. This is film. Oh, that's film. Um, so yeah, we've both got SLR cameras that are, uh, are digital. Um, so in the box comes... Because none of our Canons that we've bought have ever come with a Canon... Case. Case, have they? I mean, that Canon case... I reckon that Canon case would probably sell for 25 quid by itself. Yeah. If I was to sell it by itself. Um, you also get in here um, um, a DVD which is going to have software. Um, there's also this um, 
this box which has uh, a lens in it or something. I was going to say that shows you how old it is. A lot of um, computers and laptops don't have DVD drives. What it does anymore. have is um, the caps for the camera and the lens. Yeah, lens caps. Uh, lens caps, and that, that's what's in there. If we have a little look in the, I say this is a really nice case. Um, you have the, this is the Canon camera. What's, so this, this is a 35 millimeter film camera. Okay. So, um, let's see if I can pop Is that, that like the one that I borrowed from Kath when I was first learning to use an SLR? Was it film? Yeah. Probably is then, yeah. So, you say it's, it is the film camera. Um, but it is in brilliant condition. Uh, it's got the eyepiece on there. Um, the you've got your lens, which is a thirty-five millimeter to eighty millimeter. Um, obviously, because it's an SLR, you can take the lens off and swap for a, a, um, a better lens. Um, this is. I picked this up for a fiver, five pounds guys, um, you know, I must admit when I saw it and it was all boxed to be in the kit box as well, um, I thought he was going to ask 50 or 60 quid, um, but then when he said a fiver, I couldn't butt his anger off quick enough, you know, it was mm. just kind of, uh, so I've looked these up, now when I looked them up, it was just the camera, it wasn't actually in the kit box. Um, but they've actually sold for £80. Mm -hmm. um, so the fact that it actually comes with the nice case. Yeah, because they were eye-wateringly expensive. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, don't do it. Uh, it's fine. Well, I'm sorry, it but hasn't you... spilt. It's fine. Just drink some of it. Okay. Please. So the fact that it's in the leather case um, and comes in the, in the box makes it... Um, makes it I think very sellable um, so I think there's a very good chance of of making a hundred well 80 to 100 um, but it says well, the strap is a little bit perished a little bit perished on the strap but it's then probably that's the not going to affect the camera at all no but I think I think there's a good chance of getting the 80 quid for that from 5 to 80 so anyway that is my no. First one of those items that I think is really good. Um, okay. Now I'm going to drink some coffee to make Jan happy. Please do. I do love my wife. I just kind of. Uh, and uh, you're going to have a go at your next bit. Oh, my next one I think um, was the same day as the the other mugs. Uh, just a big. Um, it's kind of Christmasy, Christmassy hmm. kind of mug, and it's um, Marks and Spencer's porcelain. Marks and Spencer's mugs do seem well the yeah. stacking ones certainly sell and that's a big pint pint of tea kind of size kind of that one i think was 50p 50p i nice. think it was let me check in my book of all knowledge here because i can't remember anything now i'm gonna do um yeah, it was 50p, so very if you cheap. don't mind, as you've only got a few yeah. items, I'm going to run through some more of my, some more of my pickups. I'm going to run through these quite quickly. I don't want to bore you with cameras, if you're not into cameras. If you are into cameras, then that's cool. Um, so I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine other cameras. Uh, individually other, or from the same person? Um, there was four that were from the same person. Um, so we have a Canon. Was that your camera guy? Uh, no, it wasn't. Um, so this is a, a little... Um, what how do you pronounce that? Ixus. Ixus. Canon Ixus. I-X-U-S. Um... No, no. Okay, so anyway, the Canon Ixus, um, just trying to see if it says how many megapixels it is. Um, it's not a great deal on there. Anyway, that's that. that. Look. 
There you go, let's see if you see what you can see. Uh, so the next one we have um, a little Nikon. Um, this is the um, APS film that um, you guys probably know what the APS films are. It will do the standard um, standard photo square photo panoramic all on the same film. So it is a little film camera. It will probably it actually says on the back House of Fraser, so it's probably made for House of Fraser. Um, and um, they'll probably sell for about eight or nine quid. It doesn't actually say on here any mega uh, pixels. Does it, it doesn't. Moving on, um, we actually have another. Uh, oh, actually, it's saying. not megapixels. You know why? It's film. That's an APS film. That X is, is a. Um, that symbol just there. That one there. That is APS film. So it, it's maybe about a tenner. I'm guessing maybe 12 maybe more so what's APS stand for? APS is I don't know what it stands for but it is advanced processing system system yeah um so Just sort of actually uh, thank you <laughs> in case so you didn't know that's another one that's the same so that's two cameras there that are, are the same uh and, and all, all three of those and are, they are almost identical aren't yeah they? but I, I think I paid two quid for them and they should still turn into 10, so it's still five times the amount yeah. of um, money on those. Uh, next little one, we have a Samsung. Um, and this is a... What's this one? Oh yeah, this one's got GPS on it. Oh, another one. You another GPS one on. that's got GPS. It's, I don't even know if it powers up. It might not might have to charge it um, but yeah this this little one uh, on top it actually says about the um, about GPS I'm gonna have to do research on it again to find out it's got a 15 times optical zoom um, doesn't give much else away on the body but yeah there was that one uh, then we've got um, a Lumix, a Panasonic Lumix. Um, again, I'm paying about two. I paid about two pound for these. All of these cameras were about two pounds on these ones. Then pay. Uh, we then got an Olympus um, Hyper Crystal LCD one. This is a. Um, what's that? Stylus. Stylus. 790 SW shock and waterproof. Um, so that's nice. Now, it not say boo to test it. Hey, but shockproof. Oh, shockproof. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. See, I'm just not awake enough for this this morning. Um, I've then got this other Olympus, another one which is a um, actually, it's the same camera. Just in black. Mm. This is obviously a day for getting doubles. Hadn't realised. Now these were from two different boot sales. Um, but that's that's exactly the same as that. That's just got the black body. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now these are untested as yet, but for two pounds each, some of these could Might be going be for thirty or forty quid. I mean, obviously the. Uh, 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 the APS ones are probably only going to go for 10, but some of these others can go for more. Um, we then also have a little Samsung. Um, this is a 10.1 megapixel, so that's not too bad. It's a very basic kind of camera, only times two optical. Um, but again, it was quite cheap. Um, and then there was also uh, i think i paid i think i paid about three pound for this one this is a, a minolta uh dynax 5000i um slr camera um obviously i'm same as all of them i'm gonna have to test them up again obviously it, it is a film camera um 
but I've looked that one up and they sell for about £30. So from £3 into, into 30 it's times 10 your money. So that, that's got to be worth picking up for three quid. Um, uh, I'm going to throw one more. Yeah, this is uh, it's boxed. So this is a Kodak Easy Share 1. Um, it's just what it says on the box. Um, well, I looked at because normally these are quite... How do I even get in this one? There we go. Normally when I see these, they're like really basic and they're like two or three megapixels. But this one has has the char has the charges and everything with it. But when and I actually, a little case. And a little case. But when I looked at the camera, I thought, oh I quite like that. It is only a four megapixel. It's a little four megapixel, but I think. Why is it an easy share? Has it got like Wi Fi or something? It so that you would can... go directly onto a printer, onto one of these easy share printers, I oh. think. But I quite like that it actually has the big screen, and I think, yeah, it's a bit like the, pho the phones that used to have the. So you. Or a bit like my vlogging camera. Yeah, a bit like your vlog. So you could actually film with that and, uh, and see yourself and vlog. I think I paid two, I think it was about two pounds. I mean, it's only four megapixels, but I think that will still sell for a profit. So yeah, I was quite happy to pick that up and give it a chance. Some of these things, um, you've got to take a, a speculative guess. And the, when it comes down to it, you've got to kind of know that at a minimum, if it works, at a minimum, you're going to be able to, to get back what you put into it even if you're not making a profit mm -hmm. so but anyway um yeah I, I was really happy with that so that's my cam that's my little camera haul um over to you jan i shall clear this mess whilst you're right well I picked up a new with tags loo roll storage and holder it's a tesco's one these are only about 15 pounds brand new i picked this one up for a pound but it made me wonder afterwards why somebody would buy one and then not use and it. Not and then it, it just occurred to me that now they're doing the double length toilet rolls, perhaps the double fit. length doesn't fit in. So it may be that we've got to start a loo roll, use a few sheets until few it's thin sheets. enough to go into the storage bit. But, you know, as long as we know what we're doing, we can do that. So. It could be, couldn't it? But anyway, it's £14 off the shop price, so I'm willing to do that if that's what it takes because uh you know we've got well three loos in our house yeah. and my son's new house has got two bathrooms so I'm gonna, it will get used i'm going to move around to get some other bits from here if you want to do another item then. okay next i was buying loads of these during the summer but just a little pyrex kind of two-person casserole dish Two personal, two servings, whatever, but that little one for a pound. I have no idea where he's disappeared off to. I have just disappeared behind you. All right. Um, um, Neil has very kindly this morning just removed a very, very, very sticky label, which I started using the Goo Gone. That's Goo Gone if uh, it's what we use to take sticky labels off if you haven't come across it. And it will take the take the stickiness off but the label itself you've got to get your kind of thumbnail under it haven't you you have yes so i've got this um i don't know how much fit you can see and no, neil normally holds things up to the camera for me because i haven't got very long arms her it's, arms uh, are fine <laughs> <laughs> but that's quite nice it's just a kind of purple paperweight with what looks like a dummy in the middle it's just a an air bubbly a circle and a yeah. centre air bubble but it's quite pretty and i've got that one for two pounds no no maker on it just a just a standard thingy right well uh, how many items you got left just um, so we kind of gauge it uh, just a few little cheap bits okay what well, i found um a little set of 
metal measuring cups. I think the third of a cup is missing. But yeah. one cup, half cup and quarter cup. Which I was going to give to my son, but then you like to use I like to use a scoop size yeah, for, for the, the dog, dog stuff. And kibble, don't you? And the plastic ones seem to get the broken. The handles can get broken once you scoop it in. And not so I might just yeah, use be... that for brow bits and pieces. Right. Let me move but either on. way, it's a keeper. I'm not selling them Let on. Me... Don't do all your stuff because I've got loads left. <laughs> It's already been the Neil show, hasn't it? Well, I bought lots of stuff. Buy more stuff if you want to have it as the Jan show. Um, right, so. Um, picked up um, a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. So, uh, I can't remember the price, but I've got a feeling it was like 50p or something like that. Um, but yeah, quite a nice, quite a nice looking shirt. Yeah. Uh, from one of the traders I got a um, set of three, what size is this, it's A6 is it? Yeah, three A6, A6 little notebooks. Always handy to have a notebook, you write your, your uh, sales down don't you? Uh, yeah, or your, or your, your buying. I use that every yeah. week so I thought well I'll, I'll get yeah. a pack, they were £2 and then I also got a bigger pack uh, not a bigger pack. There were three, but A4 size. I think if I my need, son uses them for work. If I was so going to do that, I think I'd need an assistant to run around behind me and write all my details down. Alternatively, maybe I should just transcribe well, it from you, the you've camera. Got, you've got the GoPro, yeah. so you should be filming what you're paying. Yeah. So all you need to do is write it write in the it book down. when you're watching back for the edit. I think about it. Anyway, right two pounds for the A6, two pound fifty for the A4 size. Brilliant. My next item is another shirt from the same rail. Um, this is a super dry shirt. It's just a grey shirt, but it's a super dry one. And that's that one. So I think it was about fifty p, something, something like that. It was a good price. Um, I've got a pair of um, hang over the door hangers and I just got these exactly the same in wicks um, from their cheap table right. a few weeks yeah. ago didn't I yeah. and they were £3 for a pack of two on the cheap table and I think they were pound so 50p each so brilliant good price and yeah yeah cool on well, that point well there was a rail of jackets there was a rail that had some jackets on and they were um oh actually it might have had those two shirts on so maybe it wasn't a pound or 50p maybe i paid two pound for them might have been too good anyway they also had this jacket um for two pounds and um it is a what does that say what did we say that was collision Clusion, inspired yeah. by Italy, so it's not Italian. Yeah, so it's, it's just like an Italian, Italian rip -off. Italianized name. So, but it's a jacket. Winter's yeah, nice coming. Jacket, good condition. Winter's coming, and I think it would. You know, I think that will sell. Probably. I mean, I'll look the brand up. If it, if it's basically equivalent to a non-branded, maybe about 18, 15 to eighteen quid. Maybe more. Maybe more. We'll have a look. But I think there's some money in in that one. What have you got, John? Now I had completely finished buying teapots until a little spotty one <laughs> <laughs> said, Hello. popped up. Hello. And this is a Typhoon brand. Porcelain, microwave, dishwasher, all that sort of thing. It's actually nice and clean inside, so I won't need much doing to it. And I wasn't actually that bothered about buying it but I thought I'd just say how much and the lady said 50p so I couldn't say no at 50p excellent I'm actually thinking of because I've got quite a few where I've got the two cup size and then the family size of maybe even selling them in in pairs, pairs. so people can have a, a, a family in, brew or yeah. if they just want a little two cup one yeah I don't know if they'd sell like that or not but yeah Anyway, Might so my next one is another jacket. This was another £2 jacket. Another really nice kind of wintry jacket. Um, 
ladies coat that one. Little ladies coat. Um, and it's from the brand Boohoo. Um, so yeah, I, again, I think that should be worth, it's in really good condition. Obviously I'm, I mean, it's now accumulated, it's black and it's accumulated some dog hair, which will all be cleaned up and cleaned and photographed and bagged, ready to, uh, ready to sell. So that's cool. I, I've got three items left. How many you got? Four. Okay. I've got a little set of, it's a collection of modern classics in a nice little display cupboardy case thing. Hang on if I can open it. It's got like a magnetic closure on it. And it's a... That's a really nice little... Little set of children's books. Sorry, yeah. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Alexa wants to be in the film, apparently. And it's a Marks and Spencer's collection. It's a... I'm not familiar with any of these titles on the back. I Spy Something Wonderful, Nighttime, Avocado Baby, The Bear Under the Stairs, Happy Before I Go to Sleep, Willie and Hugh, Sunny Bunny, Mr Magnolia, just a nice little yeah, set. Nice and little it's set. got a little drawer in the bottom of the... I don't know if it like turns into a doll's wardrobe or something once you've taken the books out. But I don't know. But anyway, it was a nice little set. Yeah. Although she did put a price ticket on top, which I've got to finish getting off. Go on and get which, that off. Which, um, as I was saying to Neil earlier, I, if I'd known how stuck on that label was, yeah. I would have haggled harder on the price. Because to my mind, that devalues it. If you're buying it for a gift, yeah. and you might be tearing the box on top to get the price Absolutely. off. Absolutely. Cool. Well, well, I think I paid 150 for that. I've got no idea what it would sell for or if it would sell even. My next two items I actually got as one item. Um, that basically I saw there was um, um, a suit hanger up. So I, I thought I'd have a look to see what it, it was a next suit hanger. Um, well, suit carry case. Suit carry case, yeah. Um, and. Um, I actually only thought that there were, was one suit until I actually got it home and found that there were two suits and it, the two jackets were over each other and the two um, two trousers were over each other. But there's this nice, let's see which one this is, this is the F&F. &F. So this is a F&F &F black That's suit. That's the Tesco one, yeah. Um, so the Tesco one, which is pretty reasonable. So that basically costs £1.50. Um, I've got a feeling that that could probably sell for maybe about 45 on that one. Um, and then I'm going to have to look this next one up. Echo off. 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 Good girl. And this one is the next, next suit. So, um, Again, I'm going to have to look these up. Um, I'm hoping that the next one would be worth more than the F and F. Um, I would think so. But I, I'm not going to. I mean, maybe seventy-five. Uh, it depends how much they are new, and we'll see what they're selling for. Um, but yeah, for basically one pound fifty, I think even if it goes for twenty quid, it's still going to make a profit. So I was really yeah, happy cause, to. Because like the market on office clothes has. Drop because Dropped, a lot of people yeah. work from home, but you still got weddings, christenings, yep, funerals, funerals, and job posh interviews. occasions, it, job interviews that people do still need suits for. Yeah. So, and you not don't necessarily want to go out and pay. F I mean, I mean, if if they're one-off uses, you don't necessarily want to go and spend out for a brand new one. So, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I, I've got a feeling, basically three quid for the two suits. Uh, there's got to be a profit in it. Yeah. So. So really happy with that. So I'm down to my last one item. What right. have you got? And then every time I make a pie, which doesn't happen very often, I think I must get a pie. But you a do pie. make exceedingly good pies. Is it a pie funnel? But anyway, one of these to go in the pie where you put the pastry over the top of it and then it allows all the steam to vent out. But I'm always thinking I must get one. 
yeah. and then I forget all about it. And uh, that was just on the table, looked like a nice one, so I picked that up for me. So a little porcelain pie fun funnel. Is it a pie funnel? I've Put it in the comments below. Yeah, I if you know, a, the right a pie for thing it. for steam. I don't know if it's called a pie thing for steam. No, no. Uh, there is a proper name for it, but I just funnel can't think would what sound it is about right, but because if you put it upside down, you could see if it was like that way. It does look funnel it shaped. It looks funnel yeah, shaped. So uh, I mean, anyway, what else have you got? Steam venti thing. So anyway, so I've got that one, and then I found this little pouchy thing that is perfect size for mobile phone mobile phone yeah so if i'm going somewhere where i don't want a handbag i can yes. just hang that and it'll be handy it's a sort of plastic fake leather yeah it's stamped with aa it was probably some sort of giveaway at some point and it's got a little zip in the front but i've been again one of these things i've been thinking i must get one of those for years and this just happened to be there it was there yeah. and it was handy so i bought that for me brilliant are right. you done uh, i've got one, one 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 last item i've got one last item no i've got two last items two well do your next one then i'll do mine then you have the last one all right well this was in a a box marked everything free and it was one of these little cases which I thought would be useful yeah but when I got it home it was full of stuff and they are lashes tweezers two pairs of lashes tweezers and then loads and loads of do you want to show these to the camera of because I thought they were like little spiders in here I couldn't even see what they were but these are individual eyelashes Lash perfect. But and there's just loads and loads of loads individual. And loads and loads. Presumably that's the glue that they go on with. I can't even see if there's any in there. But for anyone who kind of, I mean, these might cost a bit, might they? Little. Uh, I have no idea. I've got absolutely no clue if they're worth anything at all if anybody would even want them but they might as a bun i guess if but it's like uh, got different sizes on the pack you know 15 millimeter by 12 mil millimeter i mean i don't I mean, know i guess it's worth having a look to basically um if anyone uses that kind of thing and do it as a bundle i mean clearly the ones that are in the little pots yeah are brand new yeah because neil was saying earlier would somebody want secondhand eyelashes and <laughs> They're not second hand no. as in somebody's worn them. But somebody's thought, got a whole little eyelash. I thought kit it might there. have been like like a, a line of them pre pre done kind of. Uh, the um, way they traditionally sell false eyelashes. No, yeah. these are individuals. I think I might hang on to the tweezers because um Tweezers are always handy. They look good tweezers actually. Yeah, I don't know if has that never been opened? No, it's just a awkward but they, they look good. But if tweezers. you look at the points on those yeah, they're very... They look really uh, useful. Yeah. Stab people with What? <laughs> what did yeah. he say? I said they look sharp, you could stab people with them. <laughs> well, you're the first one, so... No. But I can't tell if they've ever been out of the packet. Do you want to tell Presumably they have. Yeah, it's just an awkward pack. No, they've been out before. So if you can see there quite quite pointy and I thought sometimes if you're doing something that needs a very very fine tweezery thing so yeah. I've got two of them got two of them excellent yeah so that little can you but it was the box oh, I was trying to yeah but it it's, was the box, it's more the box than anything that you wanted thought, really well, they're handy aren't they yeah handy little box it was in a box of free stuff so and it said free everything in the yeah. box free and as i picked it up the bloke said to me everything in the box is free and i thought well hmm what it already says that yeah. i didn't know if he wanted me to offer him money well, for just, it, but i just said oh thank you just but, well I, I, even if someone says, says it, it's free i always ask and check before taking it uh if, well, like, I, if i want it because you know when he actually said it 
I said thank you yeah and put it in my basket so he could have said no no it's yeah. whatever yeah, yeah absolutely but yeah so that I didn't pay anything for and then my last item is going to be after my last item it's probably my favourite one well, do, you want, do you want to do yours next or do you want to do mine last it's up to you I don't mind what would you like <laughs> let's do mine let's give you the last one um so this is the last item of what I mentioned at the beginning. Um, this is uh, a DJ mixing deck. Just make sure I've got the light around. Yeah, DJ mixing deck. This is a Beginger. Beginger. Pro Beringer. Beringer. Pro mixer. Beringer Pro mixer Nox four hundred four. Um, so this is a mixing deck. I picked this up for thirteen pounds. Um, and there's a load of load of connection stuff there. Um, no, I did actually manage to find um, a film, a YouTube on this actual mixer. Um, and interestingly, it does actually have a USB connector, uh, a USB um, that it can actually be connected to um, a computer, and you can actually do stuff through a computer on it as well. Um, but it's a uh, it's a nice little mixing deck now i've looked at these and there was one that has sold this year for 150 quid which is why i was saying about you know how much this could be worth so in a combination of this and the um and the camera um as in as in the canon camera the canon at 80 and this at about 150 um that's an, that should be a pretty easy 200 pound profit so for 18 pound in total that would be over 200 pound profit um so it just shows you what you can get um at boot sales and this all stems from from you jane what oh she's eating plants back in the summer i'd found one it was a pioneer a really good one that you found and um seen it on a table walked past it looked up the comps got neil on the walkie talkie and said come and have a look at this i think yeah. you should buy it yeah and so since then you've just got them every time you've seen them haven't you absolutely Andy? i mean you've been making obviously some the, good money there's different brands um you know i picked up one the other week that was um actually you actually put an ipod in it and it mixes from there um but yeah mixing decks seem to um see if you can pick them up for the right price then there's some there's some good money in them um obviously if you overpay for anything that you're going to lose out but if you can get things for for the right price then uh, there's some there's some good money in them so yeah really happy and thank you jan for um for putting me on to mix index so i wasn't picking them up before i, I didn't know anything well, about that them. particular boot sale um ever since we started going to boot sales together 20 odd years ago yeah on the way there we say what are you looking for yeah so that we can kind of keep an eye out for for each other for each see, other because yeah. you know over the years we've been looking for numerous different things also whatever hobby or thing we're thing into we're going through at the time yeah. we'll be saying well you know like um neil got um a load of wine making stuff wine making stuff when i it was into i went into making some wine and i stuff used to like buy that. a lot of sewing things yeah. and um cloth as well my my big black cloak that yep. i wear for ritual um is was a bolt of black wool that i bought from my boot sale probably worth about 80 to 100 quid and i got it for a fiver yeah so so there's always if always you know the kind of stuff that you're looking out for um, and if you go with other people just tell them what it is you're looking for and yeah so on the way to that particular boot sale I'd said, what are you looking for? And you said electrical things that are worth a lot of money. Yeah. Otherwise, I would never have picked up on that mixing deck. But because you'd said electrical thing, I thought, well, that looks like it, it looks could be. electrical. So, it's not. It's not clockwork. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I found you thing. So now saying that, when they're having a look at that mixer, I did try to look at the comps in the field, and there wasn't enough signal to actually be able to do that which was slightly disappointing so i did try it on the phone this time um but i say i i just took a chance and thought for for that kind of money even if it was only even if it turned out to only be worth 25 pounds 
when you're buying for 13 there would still be a little profit yeah so. can i say something about that particular boot sale but any boot sale this applies to if you're going to a boot sale as a buyer please 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 park responsibly yesterday there was some poor woman walking up and down the road the other side of the hedge from the boot sale yeah. screaming out for an owner of a car who had badly parked it and was actually blocking lorries coming down the road yeah a main you know, road is blocking well, it lorries was, it's a, a little yeah country road yeah but, yeah you know and it's just so irresponsible when you when you find some people parking on driveways or or just bad parking and all to save himself three pounds from going in the yeah. designated field and yeah and paying to go in you know so please 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 just be responsible with your parking if you do go to boot sales yeah and if you're worried about getting a space near the boot sale go early enough to get in the, in the yeah. parking field. yeah be responsible people so anyway your last item Jo, which i really like um this was a 50p find and i just fell in love with it it's just a great little character isn't it's it? just uh actually can i take it closer cartoon cat mug How's it? I just love the colours. I mean, the little characters are cheeky little, uh, are cheeky little characters, and uh, I love yeah, the colours. They're vibrant colours. Oh, and the bottom. And yeah. it's a uh, pussy cat. So designed by Jane Brookshaw, and it's by Danoon. And if you want to show, there's a little cat inside, oh, as, little well. Cat inside but as well. It's quite a big mug. Yeah. But I just liked it, and it was 50p, so. This and it actually work. reminds me of. Um, do you remember that um, curved shaped mug that I bought for 50p yes. yeah. um, last year? Yeah. I bought it for 50p and sold it for £25 in the end. It went wow. over to. A, yeah, that America. one went to America. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you never know with these, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not kooky, but um, quirky? not ditzy, quirky. These quirky ones, you know, yeah. people see them and think, oh, I really like that. Yeah. So 50p mug. Brilliant. That's really cool. And that's all of my stuff. Well, I didn't get that that's, much, but. That's all of my stuff. Oh, I've got a lot, really. Um, you did. But and I'm, you talked a lot. I'd, well, we have to talk about it. You can't. You can't. Welcome to the Neil Show. Welcome to the Neil Show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so anyway. So at the beginning of the film, you were saying which item. <laughs> yes, which you item? spent eighteen pounds for. Yeah. Could, so can you just remind us which those items which were? Which items those are? So they are the <sighs> cannon in a box. Can you move that one out of the way? Yeah. Cannon in a box. <sighs> so, yeah. So you've got the cannon in a box, which was £5 and should sell for £80. Um, and then you've got the mixer that was um, uh, £13 and should sell for about £150. Um, so even if I took offers on both items, I would still, you know, if I'm doing for, if I'm doing 80 and 150, if I, um, if I take an offer on the camera and an offer on the, I'm still looking to get 200 quid for it. Um, so we're looking at 10 times the money laid out. So I think that would be really good. Um, certainly worth giving it a go so if you like that we'd love to hear from you any comments and stuff uh, about any of the items that you've seen um uh, if you know any more information about them that would be great um drop comments and down i'll below. let you know if i can fit the double because i've started to buy these double length loo rolls which yeah. do last twice as long so yeah I'll, I'll let you know if they fit in there or if we've got to use half it before they can yeah. go into the storage. And incidentally, last week I bought a an old granny foot muff that heats up mm -hmm. and a little um, 
plug in electric heater that the internet's trying to sell us all yep. and I actually used them both the other night I was in my bedroom I was very cold so I put the foot muff on yep. and it says it's a massager it just vibrates a bit it doesn't really do much more than a mobile phone but it does it across your feet mm -hmm. and I think if you were sat in a chair with your feet inside it on the floor but laying on a bed I wasn't it mm. wasn't I thought it was going to be like an electric blanket that you could have different heat settings on and you could have it from sort of warm to nice and hot but it yeah. didn't it just had the one setting probably because people with diabetes don't have full feeling in their feet and could end up yeah. doing themselves harm but I wouldn't actually rate the foot muff the little um heater if you've got your hand that far away from it is brilliant really really hot right so if you're Move almost your hand touching to there and you yeah. can't feel it at all but having said that you came in my room and I said came you in could room. feel the difference between the landing and you could feel that the the air in the landing was cooler than what was in your room so, so it had actually raised yeah. the general heat in the room yeah, it but... had. yeah now you actually had a couple of sales this week didn't you i had one what, what was it you saw what did you say um, this week? it was the set of fosters um which is a, a Cornish um, pottery company it was a, an oval plate and a an oil jar and a dish and I think it was like a, a condiment pot mm -hmm. a, a set of three that I'd bought I think last spring I paid three pounds for it and it's been sat on eBay for over a year and it sold for um, just under 20 quid excellent well i had two sales this week that i'd like to mention about um one was a previous mixer deck that i picked up which was a dual cd uh, uh mixer deck had it up for 110 and somebody offered me 90 and decided to take the 90 um so that that was really good and also had a sony m camera um which is a compact camera but it's a really good quality and um i had that up for 125 and i accepted an offer of 110. um so i had quite a reasonable week this week but there were just two items that i'd just like to mention sold this week um yeah but no, i'm barely listing anything at yeah. the moment. i haven't listed anything for months though well moving on to our next film uh next film i'm gonna make uh, which is probably me just doing it um because it's going to be boring for Jan. Like me talking no <laughs> <laughs> um no basically uh at the beginning we started the reselling um jam bought me to start off with a whole load of hundreds of of dvds and some of the good ones that were pro that, that that people really wanted were sold and that helped me to reinvest and slowly reinvest reinvest to get up to currently at about ten thousand pounds worth of stock um if it all sold at that price um however the dvds now um, are not really working unless you have free postage on them and with the price of postage it's not really bringing in much profit so i'm going to be making a film in a bit of me listing the or or registering the the dvds with one of these online companies um where they buy all your dvds they give you a I price it was the passages. cds you're going to do not the dvds i thought you were going to bundle the dvds and list and no. sell the cds off to one no of no i'm going to do the dvds uh i've got a couple of hundred of them and left. it's entirely up to you what yeah. you do with them they're your stock well, i'm just telling at, you what you said to me i've looked at i've looked at prices and whatever and uh, i'm going to bundle them all off well i'm going to get the prices first but what i'm going to do is you get an app that you put on your phone and you scan them all in and they tell you what they're worth then you can accept but whatever or decline. it's real estate isn't it they're taking yeah. up space and the sooner that you can get You've them shifted in their big the boxes better. probably in other ones and um, it's taking up six boxes um and they're not going to be worth that much money for the amount of jeans that i could put in those boxes and make a lot of money and turn them over a lot quicker I've now had these DVDs for over a year and they're not selling. So I'm going to shift them on. Well, they would have been listed. They've been listed good. and they've also been listed as promoted listings. So if they were going to shift, they would have. So I'm, um, 
I, I'm going to do a film all about that. So if you want to see that film, it'll be after this one. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. And if you wanted a sneak preview of what I bought, I'm going to do my own show and tell on my channel. And that would have been up weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, So if you could probably. time travel back to mine. <laughs> <laughs> but yours is not going to be just this stuff. It's going to be other stuff as well, isn't it? Or is it just this stuff? No, it's just the stuff I got at the weekend. Yeah, okay. I've done all the other stuff. You're from... up to date. She's up to date. I can't yeah, get up to I, date. On I the bring films. it home. I film it, and then I just upload it. So pop over to Jan's channel and watch her do it better than what we've just done. Well, Cause... as I say, this is going to be weeks before. Well, I'll have done mine weeks anyway. ago. But I will be doing mine regularly, and then. In coming weeks, um, we're going to have to be going over, if we want Sunday boot sales, it's going to be South of England Showground, which yep. incidentally um, is on every Sunday in October. Yeah. He's released those dates so far, so that should be undercover, which is nice in the, yeah. in the rain. Yeah, cool. And so, you know, let's go over and support it. It was a new guy took it over a few months ago. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this film. And we'll um, catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.